Hey, Collective Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Shout out to the entire YouTube fam. I love you guys. Shout out to everyone that has donated, um, everyone that has purchased um, merch, okay? Everyone that has booked a personal reading. Thank you, guys, okay? Thank you. I appreciate you. Give me some messages for the collective. Flashback, okay? We seeing flashback. Wow, somebody from your past returning. Listen, I just did a reading. This might be like part two. <laughs> But this flashback says, people from the past return. You may work with a previous coworker or take back an old job. You get a second chance, okay? For somebody, you about to get some sort of second chance, okay? Or again, for somebody, somebody from your past is returning. Like, but for a lot of you, this is a, a second chance at something, okay, is what I'm picking up on. Yeah, there is an offer here, okay? You finna get the, a second chance at something. Like, let me give y'all an example, right? Y'all know I like to give examples. <laughs> but really quick, so I used to work at this law firm, okay? And I worked in the real estate department. So make a long story short, I was the closing coordinator. So it was two closing coordinators. It was me and another girl. And then we had the real estate manager who was over our department, right? So mind you, I'm talking about we are doing, when I say closings, we are closing, okay? I alone have at least 20 to 25 files that I'm working on closing, okay? Like, we're talking about real estate closing homes, you know what I'm saying? So, make a long story short, if you know that process, it is very tedious. It's a lot of paperwork involved, okay? So, make a long story short, I was doing, basically having to train the new closing coordinator. Mind you, I'm getting the same pay as this girl, but I got to train her the job, okay? And I'm doing a real estate manager job because she in her office drugged up all day. Like, I don't know what she was on, but basically I was doing, I was running the real estate department. One day I got fed up and I emailed the attorney and basically told him I'm resigning. You know what I'm saying? I quit because I can't do this. I mean, I need more money or something's got to give, you know what I'm saying? But this is unfair and I broke everything down. Don't you know the next day, them people called me back for my job, okay? They had fired the real estate manager, okay? Listen, mind you, I was the only black girl that worked in the office, you know what I'm saying? So when I say that, it's just rare that situations like that happen, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I know my worth, you know what I'm saying? And especially when I'm working on somebody's job, even working for myself, I'm, 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 when I do anything, I'm the best at what I do. Okay. Just put it like that. That's, that's how, um, that's how, what's the word I'm looking for? That's how much I believe in me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to always bet my money on me every time. Okay. So this is what I'm picking up collectives. Something is coming back to you. Okay. Or somebody from your past is returning or are you getting another opportunity at something? I'm telling you, when I quit these people's job, listen, did you really think I I knew these people, I, I thought these people was gonna call me back? You know what I'm saying? I think, I'm thinking, damn, I'm finna quit, but F it, because I ain't finna be doing all this work and then getting, getting paid the same as the other girl, and then the real estate manager, she on salary for ain't no telling how much. So it's like, nah, y'all ain't finna get over on me, bruh. I was just gonna take the L because it was a great job, okay? It was a great job, you know what I'm saying? And the attorney, uh, shout out to the attorney that I used to work for, but he was just a very, very humble, he was a very, very humble man, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to him. He called me back the next day. You know what I'm saying? He wanted me 
to come back to that position because I was that good of a worker. I knew exactly what I was doing. They didn't have to babysit me. You know what I'm saying? Like shit was running efficiently. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm picking up collective. You do something efficiently. You efficient at something. Yeah, you the best at something that you do. You the best at something that you do. You the best at something that you do. So it's like they they got to have you. Somebody have to have you, okay? Whether this is uh, business or personal, okay? But if this is work, I'm telling you, somebody wants you on their team. It's like somebody got to have you. Even though something possibly happened in the past, okay? It's like somebody got to have you on their team. Yeah, I'm seeing prickly situation, okay? A couple came out. I'm going to just take the one off top, okay? We seeing prickly uh, situation. Yeah, so the situation kind of sticky. You know what I'm saying? What did I say? For somebody, this is you quit a job or you walked away from somebody. It's something you walked away from, okay? There's something you walked away from in the past coming back to you. This says work around the issue, okay? Use a gentle touch. For somebody, there's an issue that's about to get worked around, okay? You finna work around some type of issue. This has to do with somebody from your past with flashback here. Something, if this is not a person, this is a situation. This is something. Uh, this is an opportunity, For somebody, you might be a firecracker. <laughs> you might be a firecracker. You know what I'm saying? You might be like me. You, you, you very sweet and gentle, but please don't cross me. Because once you try me, once I feel like you've insulted or you are insulting my intelligence, baby, the queen of swords going to show her face. You feel me? So it's kind of, this is what I'm getting with this prickly situation. For somebody, you had to show that sore energy. You had to show that, that queen of swords, that king of swords energy, okay? The queen and the king of swords, they don't play. One thing for sure and two things for show, baby. The queen and king of swords do not play. They, they don't have that sword for a reason. For somebody, you, you drew your sword, okay? There was a, a situation that caused you to draw your sword, So it's like you this rose here on the inside, right? But people know you ain't you ain't one to be played with. You ain't one to be played with, collective. I want to use the other word, but I ain't going to do it. You ain't the one to be played with. Somebody know you not one to be played with. Yeah, connections. There is a connection that you have with somebody, okay? Uh, there is a contact, okay? You a business relationship, okay? A professional relationship, a personal relationship. Somebody know you not to be played with, okay? You are somebody that's very independent here. You can hold your own weight. Yeah, you carry your own weight. Give me some more messages for the collective. We saw this the other day, influence. I'm hearing the word mogul. For somebody, you will be a mogul of some kind. You're going to be a mogul of some kind, okay? You're going to bring about some type of change. Whatever this past, from whatever this is from your past that is returning, for many of you, this is an opportunity. This is some this is an opportunity for somebody you're genius minded with brilliance here. You are very intelligent.
So this is what I'm picking up. What did I say? These people want you on your team, on their team. Somebody wants you on their team. Somebody want to work with you, right? So it's like somebody is going to put you in position, okay, of influence, okay? You might already be in position of authority. You might already be in a position of uh, in an influencer position, you might be on a public platform, you might be a public speaker, motivational speaker, uh, you might be an artist, okay? You you might be what, you, what some people would consider a nobody, you know what I'm saying? But whatever this is from your past that is returning, this is some sort of opportunity, okay? But I feel like somebody afraid to put you in position or somebody was second guessing offering you this opportunity because again they know you come with a sword they know you come with a sword i feel like whoever this is or whatever this is they about to take a risk okay somebody feel like you can bring some sort of change Whoever these people is, they low-key admire you. They low-key look up to you, okay? They feel like you can bring some sort of change. Your opinion matters. Wow, this is dope. I'm seeing protection is here. You are highly protected, okay? You are highly protected, and I'm seeing cutting ties. They came out together. This is dope, guys. You are protected, okay, along this journey, okay? I'm also picking up an energy of you being protected from these individuals, okay? This says uh, you are being protected from deceit and from situations that no longer serve you. Lie low for a while and you will be shown the truth. For somebody, there is a truth that is about to be revealed. There is a truth that is about to be revealed. It's somebody you cut ties with. It's somebody you cut ties with for somebody in the past, okay? You don't deal with these people no more for whatever reason. There is an opportunity that's going to drop uh, in your lap again, collective. I'm also picking up with cutting ties for somebody. You're going to have to cut ties from a job, okay? When it comes to work, okay? The, or yeah, there is like a job fin about to end or something like that. Because again, there is a new opportunity that is coming. This is an opportunity that you've had in the past. But again, it was a prickly situation. You have, you drew your sword. So this how you know who, who this is with. Who have you drawn your sword on, collective? It's somebody you drawing your sword on. You done show somebody you ain't don't you, you know you not to be played with. You done show somebody you don't play the radio, okay? Whoever this person is, okay, whatever if there was a work situation or something like that surrounding this person, they about to come back in with an opportunity. You protected, okay, with this protection here. You highly protected. I'm also picking up, now this could be somebody that tried to get over on you at first, okay? Maybe they were testing you, you were being tested. Because I feel like whoever you are, you didn't draw your sword for no reason. So you had a reason to draw your sword. I feel like, again, this is why the past is returning. Or, again, this is why you finna get a second chance at something. What is this flashback? Whoa. The Ace of Wands, and we're seeing the Seven of Pentacles. Um, so I'm going to just take the one off top, the Ace of Wands, okay? Yeah, 
So this is something that you've invested in in the past, okay? Whether you've invested time, money, or energy. It's something you've invested in in the past. You finna get a second chance, okay? You about to beat some type of odds. Because it's like, what are the odds of this opportunity coming back around? Just like the um, job that I told y'all about, okay? What is the odds of a company um, calling you back after you quit to come back and get your job, especially in the position that I was in? What is this prickly situation? What is this prickly situation? Yeah, for somebody that I saw the queen of, of, of pentacles wanting to come back, I feel like with this prickly situation, you very opinionated. You might be, you, you your own boss. Again, you, you, we saw the independent card. You used to doing things independently. So it's like people can't just tell you anything. People can't just run anything on you. So I feel like, uh, I'm hearing the word headbutt. So you and somebody like got into what we're headbutting, okay? Yeah, this king of wands. This person could be a fire sign, okay? Somebody could be a fire sign. What is this prickly situation? Yeah, the five of wands, you was butting heads. You was butting heads, two of cups here. It's somebody you've been, you been butting heads with, okay? This is somebody that you partnered with. Either you work with this person or... Um, you could be romantically involved with this person, but I really feel like this is like work related, okay? Somebody that you were working with. You might have felt like you was giving more than what you was receiving, okay? You might feel like you put more in, okay? And you didn't get out what you put in. There was something, some sort of confusion, okay? Surrounding whatever this is. What is this influence? I'm seeing the high priestess, ten of wands. I'm going to just take the one off top, okay? I'm going to take that high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? I feel like this is something hidden, collective. Yeah, the knight of wands. Somebody motive, I feel like, was hidden, okay? Could have been hidden in the past. You might, you, you maybe felt like this person was immature, okay, with this Knight of Wands here. Wow, I'm saying judgment with the lovers. For some of you, this is definitely somebody who was romantically involved with, with the lovers card. But Spirit is calling judgment on that, okay? So you've been dealing with somebody like... This is like a, I'm picking up like a work romance. This has been like a work romance, okay? Spirit is calling judgment on the romance, okay? You finna tap into something um, surrounding career and work with this person. Or I feel like it was always meant for you to work with this person, but maybe, maybe you guys got romantically involved, okay? This interfered with the business. Why is protection here? Yeah, you protect it from the things you cannot see. Spirit is being clear. You are being protected from the things that you cannot see collective. Wow, this is dope. What is this cutting ties?
King of Cups. For some of y'all, you cut off a masculine energy. There's a masculine energy that you cut off. What is this King of Cups? This could be a water sign for somebody. Wow, cannot make this up. I'm going to just take the one off top. Wow, I'm seeing the eight of wands. For somebody, you finna hear from this person quick, okay? This could be somebody in the industry. I'm seeing the devil card with the six of wands here. This could be a celebrity. For somebody, you had a business slash romantic <laughs> relationship with a celebrity, okay? That may not resonate with a whole lot of you, but I'm seeing the lovers here again. This is somebody in the public eye, okay? Maybe this is somebody that you have kids with, okay? Or somebody that wanted to have kids with you. I'm going to pull two from here to close out the reading. All right, give me two cards for the collective. What is this? Somebody from the past or an opportunity from the past. A second chance at something. Heal the ouch. Listen, heal the ouch is here. Something is about to be mended. There is a connection that is about to be mended. We saw the two of cups. I feel like this is... um a spiritual connection that you have with this person, okay? Whether this is like um, a twin flame, a soulmate, okay? This is somebody that you are called to do something together, okay? Yeah, twin flame energy. Three plus eight is 11. Picking up 11, 11, the lover's card we keep seeing. For some of y'all, you have a twin flame mission. Yeah, spirit of place is here. This is confirmation. For somebody, you have a, a twin flame mission with somebody. What did I say? There is a spiritual connection that you have with them, okay? I feel like, again, for some of you guys, this is out of your um, reach. Like... You have no control over this situation. You have no control with what is going on. This is something divine that is taking place, okay, with this Ace of Wands here. So it's like you beating some type of odds. God is giving you a second chance at something, okay? There is a second chance at this opportunity. There is a, you, you have a, a second chance to do something, okay? So I feel like with um, this prickly situation for somebody, I feel like you're not going to have to uh, draw your sword again, okay? You won't have to draw your sword again, okay? You've come into alignment for something. Something is being healed. Spirit of place. God has his hands on this. So hit that thumbs up, guys, okay? Subscribe if you have not subscribed. And again, for a lot of you guys... This is somebody in the public eye, okay? This is a celebrity that you have cut ties with, okay? Or, again, this is just somebody that uh, worked in the public eye, okay? So hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed, guys. Thank you for watching.